Multiple Drug Resistance, Wikipedia Article Audio Multiple Drug Resistance, Multi-Drug Resistance, or Multi-Resistance is antimicrobial resistance shown by a species of microorganism to multiple antimicrobial drugs. The types most threatening to public health are MDR bacteria that resist multiple antibiotics, other types include MDR viruses, fungi, and parasites. Recognizing different degrees of MDR, the terms extensively drug-resistant and pan-drug-resistant have been introduced. The definitions were published in 2011 in the journal Clinical Microbiology and Infection and are openly accessible. Common multi-drug resistant organisms Bacterial resistance to antibiotics Antifungal resistance Antiviral resistance Antiparasitic resistance Preventing the emergence of antimicrobial resistance Common multidrug resistant organisms are usually bacteria. A group of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria of particular recent importance have been dubbed as the escape group. Various microorganisms have survived for thousands of years by their ability to adapt to antimicrobial agents. They do so via spontaneous mutation or by DNA transfer. This process enables some bacteria to oppose the action of certain antibiotics, rendering the antibiotics ineffective. These microorganisms employ several mechanisms in attaining multidrug resistance. Many different bacteria now exhibit multidrug resistance, including Staphylococci, Enterococci, Gonococci, Streptococci, Salmonella, as well as numerous other gram-negative bacteria and Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Antibiotic-resistant bacteria are able to transfer copies of DNA that code for a mechanism of resistance to other bacteria even distantly related to them, which then are also able to pass on the resistance genes and so generations of antibiotics-resistant bacteria are produced. This process is called horizontal gene transfer. Yeasts such as Candida species can become resistant under long-term treatment with azole preparations, requiring treatment with a different drug class. Cytosporium prolificans infections are almost uniformly fatal because of their resistance to multiple antifungal agents. HIV is the prime example of MDR against antivirals, as it mutates rapidly under monotherapy. Influenza virus has become increasingly MDR, first to amantadins, then to neuraminidase inhibitors such as oseltamivir, also more commonly in people with weak immune systems. Cytomegalovirus can become resistant to gancyclovir and foscarnit under treatment, especially in immunosuppressed patients. Herpes simplex virus rarely becomes resistant to acyclovir preparations, mostly in the form of cross-resistance to famcyclovir and valacyclovir, usually in immunosuppressed patients. The prime example for MDR against antiparasitic drugs is malaria. Plasmodium vivax has become chloroquine and sulfidoxine pyrimethamine resistant a few decades ago and as of 2012 artemisinin-resistant plasmodium falciparum has emerged in western Cambodia and western Thailand. Toxoplasma gondii can also become resistant to artemisinin, as well as atovaquone and sulfadiazine, but is not usually MDR anti-helminthic resistance is mainly reported in the veterinary literature for example in connection with the practice of livestock drenching and has been recent focus of FDA regulation. To limit the development of antimicrobial resistance, it has been suggested to. The medical community relies on education of its prescribers, and self-regulation in the form of appeals to voluntary antimicrobial stewardship, 
which at hospitals may take the form of an antimicrobial stewardship program. It has been argued that depending on the cultural context government can aid in educating the public on the importance of restrictive use of antibiotics for human clinical use, but unlike narcotics, there is no regulation of its use anywhere in the world at this time. Antibiotic use has been restricted or regulated for treating animals raised for human consumption with success, in Denmark for example. Infection prevention is the most efficient strategy of prevention of an infection with a MDR organism within a hospital, because there are few alternatives to antibiotics in the case of an extensively resistant or pan-resistant infection, if an infection is localized, removal or excision can be attempted, but in the case of a systemic infection only generic measures like boosting the immune system with immunoglobulins may be possible. The use of bacteriophages has no clinical application at the present time. It is necessary to develop new antibiotics over time since the selection of resistant bacteria cannot be prevented completely. This means with every application of a specific antibiotic, the survival of a few bacteria which already got a resistance gene against the substance is promoted and the concerning bacterial population amplifies. Therefore, the resistance gene is farther distributed in the organism and the environment, and a higher percentage of bacteria does no longer respond to a therapy with this specific antibiotic. APUA or Alliance for the Prudent Use of Antibiotics HTTP colon slash slash www.tufts.edu slash med slash APUA slash about issue slash multidrug dot shtml Vancomycin resistant enterococci, methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus, extended spectrum beta-lactamase producing gram-negative bacteria Klebsiella pneumoniae carbapenmus producing gram negatives, multi drug resistant gram negative rods MDRG and bacteria such as Enterobacter species, E. coli, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Acinetobacter baumannii, Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Multi drug resistant tuberculosis. No longer relying on a glycoprotein cell wall. Enzymatic deactivation of antibiotics, decreased cell wall permeability to antibiotics, altered target sites of antibiotic, efflux mechanisms to remove antibiotics, increased mutation rate as a stress response. Use the appropriate antimicrobial for an infection, e.g. no antibiotics for viral infections, identify the causative organism whenever possible. Select an antimicrobial which targets the specific organism, rather than relying on a broad-spectrum antimicrobial, complete an appropriate duration of antimicrobial treatment, use the correct dose for eradication, subtherapeutic dosing is associated with resistance, as demonstrated in food animals.